all right so um common variable immunodeficiency or cvid for short stands for immunodeficiency arising from b cell dysfunction so what happens here is the b cell fails to mature and it does not produce um, plasma cells uh, the plasma cells are not doing its job and as a result um, there will be decreased levels of immunoglobulin such as IgA, IgG, IgM, IgE and IgD. Um, in particular IgG, IgG and IgA will be severely decreased um, even though the other immunoglobulins could be decreased as well. So in terms of pathogenesis and how this disease, this disease arises um, is largely unknown. Um, its cause is quite variable and there's been um, uh, suggestions that certain um, cell surface antigens could be missing uh, that could result in um, a failure of differentiation. So one of them in particular could be um, CD20. And CD20 is an interesting uh, cell surface uh, protein um, as it's involved in intracellular calcium um, signaling. And uh, how this is linked to CVID development is still largely unknown. So um, its cause is quite heterogeneous. There's, there could be variable um, underlying molecular changes, but it's not clearly elucidated yet. There is a defect in B cell differentiation, like I said before, and this could affect how it interacts with T cells. And as a result, T cell function could be impaired as well. There's also no clear pattern of, of inheritance. Um, uh, whether it's autosomal or X-linked is still not um, clear. Um, so this condition can be acquired in young adulthood and also um, is linked to certain conditions. So it's association with other um, conditions as well. So one in particular could be autoimmune diseases. Um, for example, alopecia areata. So the immune system attacks the hair follicles. Um, and it's quite interesting how even though these patients are immunodeficient, the, the autoimmune, uh, the immune system can actually um, attack certain tissues, which is quite paradoxical. And also um, granulomatous diseases, new low math. Granulomatous. Ah, what the? Right. So matus diseases could occur as well. Um, as well as sarcoidosis. So um, IgA and IgG in particular are very important immunoglobulins and IgA is involved in mucosal immunity. So um, any mucus lined surfaces such as the sinuses, the lungs, the respiratory tract, um, the gastric uh, intestinal, um, um, gastrointestinal um, lining and also the um, um, other areas such as um, the eyes for example could all um, relies on the IgA um, to fight off infections. IgG in particular is to um, um, decrease uh, bacterial infections Um, and that is, a, that is a crucial uh, role of IgG. So if patients have a decreased levels of IgA and IgG, you would expect them to have um, an increased risk of bacterial um, as well as um, and mucosal infections. And uh, symptoms would therefore be recurrent, sino 
pulmonary infections. So in the lungs and the sinuses, they are more predisposed to um, infections. Um, there could also be permanent damage to the lungs due to persistent infections and that could lead to bronchiectasis. So if patients have recurrent um, you know, respiratory tract infections, um, that would be one this condition would be one of the differentials. And also if they have persistent diarrhea. And a common organ organism that is implicated in this would be the Giardia lamblia which is a parasite um, that resides in the gastrointestinal tract and it could cause persistent diarrhea as well as recurrent diarrhea as well. So if patients have um, you know, recurrent um, infections and if they have um, persistent diarrhea, CVID um, could be a possible cause. And this condition is called common because it's one of the most common um, adult um, immunodeficiency conditions hence its name um, common variable immunodeficiency and I mentioned before that these patients are also at an increased risk of um, lymphoma so just to go through and recap um, what happens here is Common, common uh, variable immunodeficiency, or CVID for short, uh, is an immunodeficiency due to B cell dysfunction. Uh, it fails to mature into the plasma cells, which are responsible for producing um, immunoglobulins, as you can see here. Uh, how this comes about is largely unknown, uh, and it's caused it's relatively heterogeneous. Um, so many um, cell surface molecules could be affected, uh, could be involved or implicated. And one of them is C, um, CD20. Um, there's also a defect in B cell differenti differentiation as well as um, T cell function as a result, and there's no clear pattern of inheritance. This condition is acquired, uh, can be acquired in young adulthood, and is also associated with certain autoimmune diseases such as um, alopecia areata, um, granulomatous diseases, as well as lymphoma. And that is uh, something to take note of because patients. Um, uh, have a shortened lifespan um, uh, due to lymphoma as well as um, recurrent infections. So the, the, the decrease in IgA as well as IgG is important because they provide mucosal as well as um, uh, bacterial uh, immunity, so uh, immunity against bacteria as well. Um, and therefore this group of patients are at higher risk of bacterial and mucosal infections. In terms of symptoms wise, um, they have recurrent sinopulmonary infections, permanent damage to the lungs that could lead to bronchiectasis, which is a uh, permanent dilation of the, um, of the airways, and also persistent diarrhea, uh, especially Giardia lamblia. Um, in terms of um, physical exam, um, they would have uh, splenomegaly, so the spleen is enlarged, as well as generalized um, lymphadenopathy, so um, due to um, recurrent infections, um, they may have enlarged lymph nodes. Um, so in terms of investigations wise, um, by proving that there's a decrease in all immunoglobulin classes, in particular IgA and IgG, as well as doing a lymph node biopsy to rule out possible malignancy, um, for example, uh, lymphoma, um, and also um, reactive uh, follicular hyperplasia. So, um, I, as well, um, in terms of differential diagnosis, um, x link um, A gamma globulinemia is one of them, um, as well as severe combined immunodeficiency.
as well. In terms of treatment, IVIG is one of the treatments. So that's intravenous immunoglobulin. And what happens here is basically a donor's uh, plasma is um, um, uh, filtered and the immunoglobulins are actually um, concentrated and given back to the patient. And this provides passive immunity. So like I said before, uh, there's the decreased levels of um, immunoglobulins and this could affect the adaptive arm of the immune system and result in an increased risk of infection. So by giving them IVIG, it actually decreases the risk of um, infections and also by giving them antibiotics will be beneficial too um, to fight off the bacterial infections. Uh, in terms of complications, uh, the most common cause of death in CVID patients is lymphoma and 20% uh, would develop autoimmune diseases. So if um, some of the um, triggers of um, CVID or certain things that would point you towards CVID could be um, you know, prolonged or persistent um, uh, sinus as well as respiratory tract infections. Uh, when uh, there's a decreased levels of uh, immunoglobulins, in particular IgA and IgG, um, as well as um, plasma cells would also be decreased. And there's usually no family history because like I said before, the inheritance pattern is quite variable. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for um, um, combined variable immune. In terms of physical exam, the spleen could be enlarged. They could have um, uh, lymph node um, abnormalities um, um, in various places. And also investigations when you um, check the immunoglobulin levels, there could be a huge decrease in IgA and, and IgG. Uh, you also want to do a lymph node biopsy to rule out any malignancy, in particular lymphoma, like I mentioned before, um, because these patient, patients um, are at a higher risk of developing lymphoma. Differential diagnosis-wise, um, you will consider x um A gamma globulinemia as well as SCID, severe combined immunodeficiency. And I would uh, discuss these two conditions in a separate um, video. In terms of treatment-wise, IVIG is given, so that's uh, Im IV immunoglobulin. Um, what happens is basically you're giving uh, patients immunoglobulin to provide some form of passive immunity and also to give them antibiotics to treat um, the recurrent infections. Uh, common complication, uh, like I mentioned before, is lymphoma as well as 20% would develop autoimmune diseases. CVID, um, just to summarize, um, there's a prolonged and persistent you know, respiratory tract infections as well as um, uh, persistent diarrhea. Uh, there'll be a decrease in uh, immunoglobulin levels, decrease in plasma cell levels, and generally there's no associated family history. Um, thank you.